Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Ape Dimension, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I sculpted this. Ooh, side duck, rubber duck, duck, duck. Oh, oh, oh snap, dude! This dude look crazy. I kind of painted him weird, but it's okay. You know, I was trying to go for a little darker tone of yellow. You know, darker than that, uh, than that, that, than that little. Ooh, 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 ooh. Than that little, uh, little Pikachu, that surfing Pikachu. If you guys, by the way, if you guys haven't seen the last video. Ooh, ooh, we sculpted this surfing Pikachu. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys how I sculpted this side duck, rubber duck, ooh, and printed it. Well, I didn't show the printing process yet because I'm still working on that. Um, how I'm gonna, you know, do the time lapse for my 3D prints. But, you know, if you guys just go ahead and stay tuned for like future videos, I will be having um, those time lapse videos up. And you know, I might be able to print this again and so show you guys as a time lapse of it. For those who do have 3D printers, I'm gonna put this as an STL file and down below. So you guys can, you know, go ahead and make your own uh, side duck rubber duck. And you know, if you guys want to paint it yourself or if you guys have the correct filament colors, you know, you guys don't even have to paint it that much. But yeah. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you guys something cool with this. Oh, look at this side duck, right? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I printed him on glow in the dark filament, which is crazy. Oh, oh. Alrighty, so as always, I'm gonna be sculpting a Nomad sculpt, and you know, I had to speed this up. You know, I'm not really going this fast, <laughs> but yeah, you know, this side dog <laughs> sculpt was kind of kind of challenging, you know. And plus, you know, I'm still kind of new to um, Nomad sculpt, so there's some you know flaws in there, but it's all good, you know what I'm saying. But what's the fun of it if there's no challenge? So, you know, you just got to keep pushing through and keep trying. Because if you really want to, you know, finish a piece, do something that you want to do or just get something done, you know, just keep pushing through and find the motivation out of it. Because at the end of the day, once you accomplish what you accomplish, you're going to feel so, 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 so much better. And yeah, but right here, I'm working on the hair, the little three strands of hair. You know, I just got a little, um, what, what did I get? I got a little sphere and just put it in together and I'm just trying to place it right now. It took a while to like to tell figure out the right placement and I was trying to figure out the right head because at first it didn't look right and you know I found out the right head. And now I'm working on the body. Body's cool. I thought it was cool but then I I started it started bugging out. So I just you know go ahead and made another body. But yeah this body was the one the one and only but yeah it's still bugged out but you know eventually I got it. And right now I'm just making his little hands, his little wings, his little flappy flappity flap, you know, and yeah, I was happy with the results and I went to go ahead and print it. Here is a 3D print of Psyduck that I sculpted, yeah. It's not perfect, but you know, it's all good. You can see there's a dent on the bottom because I was being impatient, but it's all good though. Psyduck is done. And here's my paint palette and the brushes I'm gonna be using. Well, you know what's funny? I didn't really use these brushes. I just pulled them out to show you guys I got new brushes and I still use my old brushes. <laughs> yeah. And here's the paint that I'm gonna be using. Well, one of them, the enamel whites. I didn't even use a metallic. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be using Arteza's acrylic paints. Yeah, 24 pack, oh yeah. Well, I actually brought out the big boy because I think I ran out of the yellow and the 24 pack. So I had to bring out this big boy right here. Ooh, look at all them colors. But I'm only gonna be using like three different colors, yeah. All right, the color is mid yellow. Oh yeah, raw sienna. Oh yeah, and Mars black. I didn't show that, but it's all good though. All right, so I put that wicked white and raw sienna together because I wanted to make the duck, and the duck I wanted to make it like a little tan color. I didn't have no tan color, so I just went ahead and mixed that wicked white and the raw sienna together. 
until, you know, I got the right consistency, the right color that I wanted. And this right here looks real, 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 real good. So I want to go ahead, got my side duck and put the first paint layer. Ooh, whoa, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. You guys enjoy the speed paint while I, while I paint the duck, you know, the duck, 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 buck, duck. Bill. I meant to say Bill. <laughs> the duck bill. <laughs> And here is the finished duck bill. Yeah. All right, so right now I'm gonna start with the body. And I got the yellow and I'm painting it on the side duck. And right here I'm like thinking, all right, I wanna make it a little darker than the Pikachu, surfing Pikachu up there. So I wanna go ahead and add that raw sienna, mixed it. And I was like, ooh, this looks cool. So I went ahead and did that. And it, it just turned out a little darker, you know, at the end, the end result, it kind of made the side duck just look dirty. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. I still kept it though. I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready this deep. So I just kept it and um, yeah, you know, cause I got to finish what I started. But yeah, as you can see, I was kind of messy with just, you know, painting his body. But you know, majority of his body was yellow, so I didn't really, you know, think of it any ways. I was just trying to get this paint done, and you know, I got some on his hair strands, but that's okay. I was gonna be covered up with black, but I made sure I took time around his eyes and bill because you know I didn't want to, um, you know, go back and fix it. And you know, I just, you know, you just take your time. Yeah, whenever you're painting something, you know, take your time. It's perfecting your craft. But, and then like you know just love your craft love what you're doing and you know just yeah basically just enjoy it because at the end of the day you know it's a piece that's gonna be up and people for people to see and you know what's the point of creating something that you don't like but yeah you still showcase it you know that's just very very you know that's gonna be like stressful and on, on you because you're just like oh I don't like it so people aren't gonna like it and then it's just gonna be like a whole loophole of negative energy towards yourself you know self-inflicted negative energy but anyways here's that Mars black and I kind of put too much but it's okay you know it's all good cuz I had a good bit <laughs> But yep, painting the strands of the hair was kind of, you know, tedious because like there was like parts in there where my brush couldn't go. But if I use a smaller brush, you know, it wouldn't really work that great. So I just had to, you know, maneuver around there and make sure I didn't get on the top of his head. But, you know, it was all good. We got through it and it looks really good. Yeah. yeah. And now for his eyeball pupils. Yeah. yeah. Bloop. Hey, that look real good. And another bloop. Hey, that turned out, you know, better than I expected. You know, it's not even, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it looks good to me. I love it. <laughs> look at this side duck. He is done. Hey, I love it. I didn't paint the bottom because, you know, there's really no point to paint the bottom, but it would have looked nicer and more solid if I did paint in the bottom, but it's okay. It's all good. This is the finished product. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a short video, but you know, I kind of like short videos, you know, it just goes straight to the point. You know, what more can I do? Um, but yeah. And if you guys want to print your own side duck rubber duck, you know, the links for the uh, files is in the description down below. Go ahead and print yourself one. And yeah, you guys take it easy out there. Peace. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the back, on the back shelf. Ooh. I also made a shiny star you if you guys want to check that video out. Ooh. Does it spin though? Oh. This star you go hard. Ooh. But not as hard as this side duck rubber duck, yeah.